Hey everybody! So today's video is going to address how to give your Australian Shepherd a bath because if you have one you probably are already aware of how thick their coat is. They have a double coat which means they've got an undercoat and their outer coat and it's not as simple as a, a chihuahua say that you wet them down, scrub them up, rinse them off. If you've tried that with your dog maybe you're successful. I certainly am not. Trooper is able to become dry like that and oftentimes the water doesn't even, even get to the undercoat. So I have a very quick method I use to wash them and I'm going to walk you through that today. First thing we're going to do is how to pick up your dog, which you hopefully do this well already to, for their benefit, but I'll demonstrate it just in case. Trooper, come on. All right, so Trooper is about 45 pounds. So I always go, he knows what's coming. <laughs> I'm going to get the collar off. Trooper is very big on the front. He has a lot of weight right here. So I always want to support him here and support his bottom and just keep him so I'm not crunching his spine when I carry him. Always lift with your legs. And then you can tell he's not totally uncomfortable. He's been receiving this treatment since he was a puppy. There we are. I've used a couple different shampoos on Trooper specifically because he has itchy skin. So I've always looked for things that are natural, that have some kind of soothing ingredient like oatmeal or avocado or something else that just helps soothe irritated skin, especially in allergy season. I first, uh, there's another brand I use that I don't have on me right now, but when I switched into Avoderm, I used the skin and coat formula, which <laughs> Trooper's locked in the shower still. It says it helps relieve itching, rich in lather. And then there's this one, which I'm using now, oatmeal formula, and it has soothing formula, calms irritated skin. So essentially by marketing, they're kind of, their purpose is the same. But from experience, I can tell you, this one is awful in terms of its lather ability. It does not spread well. So I, I find I waste a lot or I have to use a lot more of my hand to get him all soaked up and to spread the soap. Otherwise I can't move it around on his hair. This one is creamier and lathers up really nicely. So as soon as I'm done with this, I'll switch back to this one. Bath time! If you have shower doors, it's easy to just shut yourself in here with the dog and they can't go anywhere. I used to not have shower doors, so I had to sit on the edge, which is great. You know, you just use your knees to block them. It works fine. Unless you have a really big Aussie, you might need an assistant. I've, I've usually been fine. You know, Trooper and I are a good team. You want to do the head last if you can because as soon as they get water near their ears and their eyes and they feel like they're really in the bath, that's when they start to shake and they get more upset. Okay, so one mistake I made was I usually like to run the water to the right temperature before I bring the dog in. That just reduces the amount of time they're sitting here anxiously awaiting this horrible torture. Um, but I forgot to do that today, so we're going to do that right now. I have to run my fingers through his coat as I wet it because otherwise the undercoat does not get wet at all. So it's actually wet now. And I have to stay focused in one area because as I mentioned on the introduction, it'll dry if I don't apply soap right away. So I get it nice and soaked up. And then I go, all right, that's a good start, good boy. And then we move to the next area. I don't really scrub them at this point. I just massage the soap in so I can scrub them in a minute. So I work in zones. Zone, zone, zone. I don't really work top to bottom because as you wet the next area, you'll probably rinse off what you've already soaked up. And remember, the goal here is to get it soapy. We want the soap to stay on his body. And as you move to the next zone, you can spread your new soap into your zones of old soap. Doing so well. Nice job. Every now and then I take a break from moving on to a new zone and massage him and scratch him. Feels really good for his itchy skin. Let's him know this is a positive experience. Good job, Trooper. What a good boy. So I get the soap up to like kind of the point where his ears are. I don't like to put soap on top of his head even though I'm sure it's dirty. I just rinse it, I rinse his head with water and then I scrub like this and I try to break up the dirt and I call that good. Neither Trooper nor Sydney are, are show dogs. Everything I do for them I do just to keep them happy and healthy and for my own amusement. 
Alright, so now we're on the real scrub part and his neck is getting so white. He's such a good boy. Get his chest, get his belly, we already did his belly. His bum is pretty much done, his legs I did a couple times as we were working forward. As I rinse out, I also scrub the soap out so he gets kind of like a, an additional wash down at that point. And now instead of zones going like this, we're going to do zones going top to bottom. So we're going to rinse the soap from the top and let it go down. Make sure you rinse them really, really well. Because they have two coats, there could be soap still in the undercoat and you wouldn't even be aware of it. And, and they could be itchy and miserable and you could be applying flea medicine for something that's not even bug related. It's just soapy, irritated skin. Even soap that's to help irritated skin, if it's left on after a bath, it's not helping anybody. I just did this side of his body. I rinsed it off and completely soaked him. You can tell this is dry hair. This is like totally dry hair. It's insane. I just soaked him and you can see these patches. It's dry. He didn't even shake. Look at this. All right, so here comes the head bath part. Can you put your head over here, please? Thank you. So I get him wet and I scrub it, scrub it down. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I get him again. And I always try to do it this way so I'm not rinsing it into his eyes. What a good boy. What a good boy. Something I've learned with Grooming Trooper is he seems to hold, and this is an exaggeration, but he seems to hold like 95% of his water in his feet. So if, you, if you're if you like, okay, I'm gonna dry off the body, the body is the biggest part, dry, 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 dry the head, dry off the chest, and throw him outside. I find that he then, yes, still tracks water all over. In fact, his body is dry, he's just shaking off. But if you look at his feet, which we'll do in a second, he's, um plenty wet. His feet have these puddles of water that stay with him due to the surface tension of the water, I guess. And they're coming out of his feet. Look at this. It's so crazy. So I can't wring him out like I can a towel. Oh, here's a great example. So you pick him up. It's insane. Good dog. So I just lightly dry off the exposed parts of his ears. I don't put anything in his ears. And I tell him he can get out. I don't let him get out on a release like he's escaped. I make sure I do it when it's on my terms. Sydney's much easier. It's crazy what 10 pounds will do. Trooper, we're not playing. Ugh. She's a little... Uh, She's lighter, but she's not behaviorally easier. So she will act like a crazy beast. And so I hold her really tight, and so I put her down so that she doesn't hurt herself. Oh, now, compared to Cooper, she's a dirty heathen. She will roll in whatever stinky stuff she can find. She will paint the town red with nastiness. What a good girl. Don't underestimate the power of talking sweetly to your dog when they're stressed out. It really helps with Sydney. Some places online I've read say that you should wash and rinse in the direction of hair growth. So that would be going like this. I don't really see the point of that, since when you go like this, you expose their skin better. And you get the soap in better, and you rinse the soap out better. So I don't follow that advice. Neither of them have suffered because of it. There's the Australian Shepherd wet hair. 